Hello, welcome everyone. How's it going? Happy Friday. Woo! Thanks for being here, everybody. Uh, I'm seeing Linda in here in the live chat. RJ Stubbs, Halo Animations, Sonar Wolf, Toy Mirth is here. Chega, hello. I, can't, I love when I see names I don't recognize, like Chega. Hey, Chega. Thanks for being uh, here, you guys. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much. This is going to be a really cool episode. I have a really awesome dude over here that we're going to go through our top 10 toy photos. It's for me. The whole... Yes. <laughs> no, we have top 10 toy photos, totally random photos, no hashtags or anything. And then also two people from the live chat are going to we'll feature them as well. We'll get into that later. But first, let me get into uh, my guest, uh, Austin. Dude, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thanks Thanks, thanks for having me on. No, thanks. Thanks so much for, for coming on. Um, it was pretty last oh, minute. I gave you like two days. I was like, hey, you want to come on a live stream? That's, that's plenty of time. <laughs> plenty of time. Um, <laughs> but no, seriously, thanks so much for coming on. Um, you're, you, you're like one of the guys, like one of the first like friends I think I made in the like toy community like years and years and years and years ago. Um, yeah, yeah, we go a little little ways back, right? Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, I was super happy to, to bring bring you on, and I knew you 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 and I would be able to talk about some, um, have good conversation about some of the photos we're gonna bring up. I knew you would have some great choices to bring up. Um, so yeah, yeah. yes. Um, so basically, everyone who's here, thank you so much, who, who everyone who's who's here. Um, as Tanner, I see you. Val, I see you. Thanks for you guys are amazing. But um, basically, how this is gonna work? Uh, Austin and I chose um, eight different photos. It's like our t favorite pictures we have found in the toy community this October. So anything from October. Um, so, but this is the top 10, not the top eight. So what we'll do is we'll go through the first four and then we'll grab a random person from the live chat and we'll basically talk about one of your photos and then, uh, we'll go through the next four and then the last number 10 will be also somebody from the live chat. So, uh, I thought this would be cool. You know, this is a very, the first time I've ever done something like this. So hopefully it doesn't totally get, you know, I don't screw it up completely. But we have Austin here, just in case I do screw it up. <laughs> You're not going to screw it up. <laughs> um, I believe in you. <laughs> cool. Thanks, dude. Um, all right. Well, without further ado, actually, you know what I do? And I forgot to mention this to you, Austin. I ha we have th a couple new members that I have to thank that have joined the YouTube membership. So, um, huge thank you to... Actually, hang on a sec before I... Um, there we go. So huge thank you to these three wonderful people. We have Action Photography, Ben. Love Action Photography, he's a great dude. And we have uh, Comic Dad, 42 shots, and CJ Notorious, actually just joined yesterday. Thank you guys for joining the membership, and all three of these shots are fantastic. I love that Superman shot. Um, so if you're interested in joining the membership, it's uh, right underneath the video. There's a button that says join, right where it usually says subscribe. And if you, if you see the button that says subscribe, make sure you click on that too. Um, <laughs> and then all the perks and stuff that are in the membership are right there. So if you're interested, that's all there. But thank you, Action Photography, Comic Dad, and CJ. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, killer right. shots. Yeah, seriously. And yeah, this uh, this Stormtrooper getting blown away is just freaking I awesome. know. Yeah, that <laughs> one. That was good. I want to see the behind the scenes on that one. Yeah, that was, a, that was I'm sure, a huge explosion. That's not just a normal crackling yeah. ball right there. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to get into our first shot to talk about, which is um, over here. And uh, I am going to bring it up. Here it is. So, uh, Austin, you chose this shot from Visual Approach Photo. Um, mm -hmm. Sean is a really great dude. I met Sean at uh, uh, Toys in Action. Uh, oh, oh that's June. right. That's right. Yeah, super nice guy. Uh, super humble. Yeah. Obviously very talented. So tell me about why you picked you picked this shot. Yeah, so I've, I, too, have talked to Sean a little bit. And I haven't met him, but now just... His photography is just pretty much next level. Whatever he pumps out is quality. So this is just basically the, the most recent one that, that I really liked. And it's uh, it includes his diorama um, that he built. I don't remember if he built it for a Vader shot or what it 
was for specifically. Yeah, I, um, I remember, I don't know if he's made I multiple lava ones, but I remember him making some Mustafar dioramas. Um, yeah. The thing is, I think he just, he approaches that same diorama from so many different angles, it's tough to tell if it's the same one. But yeah, it's I'm really gorgeous. Curious. Yeah, it's amazing. He's He has some really cool dioramas. So. He, yeah, he, like, he's somebody that, like, not only does, here it is, the, his photos are incredible, but, like, the the dioramas he makes are ridiculous. Like, this, like, I, I wouldn't know the first thing about, like, I want to make a lava Mustafar diorama. <clears throat> like, in my, what I would do yeah. is I would just, like, light something on fire <clears throat> outside, but I would have no idea what to do <laughs> with this, but, yeah. um, and yeah. to to allow the light coming through on the bottom and yeah it just and it's massive i mean you know how i don't know if you have the razor crest but you see how big that is so the, the setup is massive yeah i have seen so, it in person and it's very big so um it's yeah it's huge so yeah and the cool thing i like about sean and his shots and everything is he always posts the with the behind the scenes he'll show like the actual raw camera feed and everything so it's it's not that he not in this one of course but it's not <laughs> that he does he does do a lot of post post work from what you can kind of tell but most of it looks like it's pretty much straight from the camera he's not you know yeah. he's adding effects and everything but there's a lot of effects that's like built in practical effects like what we're seeing here with the diorama which is super cool super cool awesome yeah that's yeah. that's like i think yeah. I don't want to say any approach is better than other. Like practical is is not better than digital. Digital, I think they're all yeah. awesome. And um, mm -hmm. I do I my in my personal approach, the way I would like to do things in my head is like get as much as I can in in camera, and then like still add to it afterwards. And that's yeah. I think the way exactly. I do it like that is just because that's the only way I know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> same here. Same here. Yeah. Um, but. but yeah, one thing I, when I look at this is like, because I I remove stands and stuff like that all the time, and so this mm -hmm. is a really big stand to remove. It's a and I'm sure, stand, yeah. yeah, I'm sure he did something where he took a photo with and then another without, but yep. um, I don't know. Like, it's it's like the first like, it's like whenever I edit, that's the first thing I do is remove whatever. And then I move on with it mm -hmm. there. But like, it's sometimes it's really hard to do. Sometimes it's not an easy thing. No. Um, and the, the frustrating part comes in when you, you have the shot done and everything, and then you get into edit and you're like, Oh, that's just not going to look right. If I take out that little, yep. take out that little bit there. So yeah, obviously he did a great job with it and the motion blur and everything. It just, that's yeah, pretty perfect. Yeah, that's a that's a really great touch, the motion blur. Because if I were doing this, like, I would be like, okay, what do I do to make it look like it's going fast? And like, should I add the motion? Like, that would be something like in my head of like, should I add that motion blur, or should I not? Yeah. But that was a, a really great choice. It is. It's a good touch. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really great touch. Um, and everybody in the live chat, thank you for all the super kind words. And make sure if for all of these artists that we pull up, just make sure you're following these these people. They're all like worth, obviously worth following for sure. Um, so um, yeah, I don't. This is this is just an awesome, awesome freaking shot. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's next next level. Yes, and um, I know a lot of people in the line. I just want to make sure I get some of these comments in here. Um, Comic yeah, Dad I was, says, I, I was love... reading. Yeah, and he said, I love the BTS videos. I'm so glad um, that he adds, adds them because it really adds, I think, just to how much I can appreciate um, the photo for sure. And Silver mm -hmm. Moon says, I can't believe that's a toy photo. Right? Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Even like, and I'm, I'm looking at good. it more, and even like the red lighting that's coming from underneath the uh, um, the razor crest over here and over here. Yeah, like that, and the wing and that's such yeah. a small touch, but that really, really adds to it. Oh, mm -hmm. we're getting a, a bot in the live chat. Um, oh, lovely. I've I've gotten pretty good at uh, uh, so I put them in time <laughs> kicking them out. <laughs> Um, and Toy Story says, yeah. I'm sorry, Austin, go for it. You're fine. I was just reading one comment. Artistic Toaster, he's talking about wanting to get into dioramas. Uh, I mean, no better time to start than right now. There's so many 
so many YouTube videos um, giving good breakdowns of how to just really get started. So, yeah. Yeah, and somebody like Sean, too, is super helpful. Like, if, I'm sure if you sent him a message, he would put a lot of time oh. into giving oh, yeah. you a great answer to help you out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, That's for sure. Uh, Rapper Knight Toy Pick says, I could never get that type of lighting in my photos. You know what? I'm sure you absolutely could. All it does is just take practice. Just keep doing it over and over, experimenting with stuff, and then you just, the more you do that, the more you kind of understand what light kind of does. And then after that, you got Yeah. It. You know? Right. Yeah. Every photo is different, though. So just, yeah, the, and the more you do, the easier it gets, but then. Still, it can be tricky, even for people who I'm sure you struggle from time to time still. Of course I do. Of course. Well, probably every time. <laughs> Pretty much every single yeah. time. Definitely. Yeah, because every shot is different, so there's challenges with all of them. So Repetition, right? A million percent. All right. Cool. Well, visual approach photo, Sean, amazing, amazing shot. And um, yeah. if you have any answers to any of the questions we've thrown out during this, please let us know. We would love to know. We'd love to know. Um, all right, so I'm going to move on to the next shot. This is my, my transitional thing as I pull up the next shot. And so for this one, I cheated a little bit. This was this is one that I chose. I cheated a little bit on this one. Um, so this is from, I don't know if you've ever heard of this toy photographer. His name's uh, Visual Force. I don't know if you've heard of him. So this one's not from October. But uh, the reason I chose this one first, I mean, I could have chosen any of the many great ones, but I hadn't, like, I somehow missed this one of yours. I was going through your Instagram. I was like, whoa, I didn't, never mm -hmm. saw this. I hadn't even liked it. And I was like, whoa. Um, so yeah. one thing that you and I did for a while that I don't think either of us have really kept up with is we started this hashtag called Explosioneers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> where anytime we would post an explosion shot we would use the hashtag explosion ears i i haven't i always forget every once in a while I'm like let me just throw that in um, yeah so this is <clears throat> yeah actually i think there are a couple shots around there and i kind of i forgot about it too and i went back and i added it you can see it the last hashtag i think there I it is oh awesome. edited yeah it was edited because i added <laughs> So if you've ever oh, yeah, take, you ever gotta keep it alive. Yeah, if you ever if anybody takes an explosion shot, use explosion ears and then go into the hashtag and check out all the other great explosion shots. There you go. Explosion ears. I gotta I gotta I'm gonna I'm gonna get back into it. Gotta use yeah. it again. Okay, so um yeah. there's a lot of reasons why I like this shot. First of all, the first thing I, I love troopers and explosions, so and I know you do too, so I always like will gravitate towards that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um and also, I know this is a custom Rex, right? Yeah. And I don't, yeah. and I don't know if this is one you did, because uh, I know you do some fantastic customs. I have one from you. Um, oh, but, that's right. Yeah, the the Phase One Rex is like I'm surprised that they haven't made a figure of that yet. So tell me about just the process of making. Th does this was this one that you made? So no, this is not. <laughs> this is not one that I made. So I have a friend. Um, is what's his name dv customs his name's dirk he's a really really good guy we actually met on a facebook customizing group a long time ago so whenever i'm too busy or he's really good with detail work so i sent him a lot of stuff like that so like the helmet that's hit definitely his department so the figure itself is actually the base is just the regular rex figure and then uh the pauldron is painted as well and then right. he painted the the helmet too and added the uh yeah the rangefinder and everything so yeah this is technically his custom but you know paid for it and everything so <laughs> it's yours now yeah <laughs> exactly but yeah my one thing with this i really didn't want to singe the the camera you know the but it, it happened and it's kind of kind of inevitable just to to burn is his yeah, leg just a little bit? Did his but, leg get a little bit singed too? I don't. I don't think so. From I don't know. Maybe I'm just I, me. From what I remember, yeah, it just looks dark, and I think that figure actually has um, like dark brown weathering on the legs itself. Oh, that's anyway. probably. Yeah, yeah so it, it does kind of look like it was burned, but it was really just the fabric, and you know, you've done it enough to to know that it's usually the fabric <laughs> that got that gets caught before the plastic. Definitely. 
Definitely. Yeah. Even though I have had um, a couple figures that just caught flame, and I think that's different plastic that Hasbro used. Hmm. But I don't know if that's happened to you before. Is that? No, I've never <laughs> thought about that. How some of the different plastics react differently. Um, I haven't really. I. It's been a while since I've really messed something up. Uh, I've uh, just been yeah. super. Um, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I just, it's, I've just i been lucky, I guess. Um, yeah, I feel like I, you might be a little bit better at having them further in the distance, like, as far as the effects and everything, but, um, yeah, I, t for me, like, you can, I mean, obviously, the fire is going right through the figure, but, but temporarily, so great. It's, it's, it's brief, it's brief, but it's enough that, yeah, I can mess it up. Yeah, that, uh... The one figure that actually caught flames, and I don't know if I sent it to you or not. The bo -Katan? It was The bo -Katan figure. And yeah. Yeah, she, yeah, her helmet was literally on fire. And it was the same, I did the same thing that I did right in this picture, and her helmet just caught, caught flame. I don't know how. It's like a, it was like a, it's almost like a foam material. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's the softer but plastic she... that, that catches. Yeah, it reminds me of like the shoulder pads of the newer clones. That's kind of the, it's like the softness. But anyway, so yeah, she caught flame, but usually it's it's pretty safe besides the fabric. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, in the live chat, Toy Mirth says he has the same tripod as you. And this definitely looks like a very, like, I just, I don't know, an epic tripod. It's, it's like going down <laughs> and over and like. Yeah, it's just, a, just an Amazon one. It's not. It's not super super crazy it's, you can but, get real yeah, close no, to the gets, ground you can yeah that's why i've gone through a lot of tripods in photography and this is probably my favorite one i have it it's like right next to me so it's a great great tripod yeah it comes out on the side so you can get it really close to the ground awesome. rather than having to flip it upside down or do anything like that so um, artistic yeah. toaster has a question for you it says when it comes to these sure. explosion shots and such Explosion stocks and such. Do you only use Spectrum homies for those? Because I feel Spectrum. like when it comes to that, you wouldn't just use any figure. Okay, so maybe he he means like um, you you selectively choose which figures to use, and maybe that's a typo, <laughs> or maybe I just don't know. That. <laughs> so maybe I'm just little, like you, you specifically will one. use figures that you're not super crazy about or selectively like it's so because you don't want to burn them no no i just kind of risk it i will i will say they're like hot toys that i'm more afraid to use or if i'm going to use them i'll you know put the explosion further in the back but i mean most of these are 20 dollars figures and right to me it's like the base itself aside from the helmet and the pauldron it's a 20 dollars figure and i have more of them so when in doubt you kind of just go back and take the helmet off this one and put it on a new one you know there you go but yeah and if he... you i don't know if you're i think you said these are screenshots but if you go to the mace windu shot which is two before that there's a behind yeah. the scenes where it actually shows the explosion awesome yeah and so sorry um, it's kind of no, there it is. I, I know. I when you said the Mace Windu shot, I knew exactly where it, where it was. Um, and yeah. also, quick, um, um, artistic toaster says he meant to say specific. So that's great. That's what I thought. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got you. So here we go. This is a, another great shot. Okay, and so you use as the crackling ball is going off, you'll spray in the atmosphere aerosol, right? Yep. And so yep. The atmosphere aerosol will catch on fire so that's where you get those flames plus you get the boca in the background it's, it's just like it's such yep. a, and that's like a thing you kind of token that was your thing at least i remember um yeah it's a little dangerous it definitely yeah. is but it's it's awesome <laughs> yeah it when it turns out it turns out great <laughs> it really does it really really does but um and i was gonna that's, ask you that's that. not yeah, I was just gonna say it's not to not to say that it takes doesn't take multiple multiple takes and yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I remember. Uh, whoop. I remember when you kind of told me like you should try spraying the atmosphere aerosol into it, and I was like, oh, let me try that. 
and it definitely works. It definitely works. And another thing too yeah. I want to mention is that you have the black poster board in the background. And so I why do. why do you do that? Um, it definitely. Well, the flame effects can kind of get lost if you have nothing in the background, even with like a white background. So the black, it really just brings out all the effects from the flames, all the, you know, everything you get from the crackling balls is kind of emphasized when you have that back there. Yeah. Definitely. Like I said, otherwise it, it really gets lost. All the, all the cool little detailed and, you know, all the little sparks that are going different directions, they, yeah. Yeah, the sparks contrast so, so nicely with the black background exactly so exactly nicely. yeah i can't i honestly can't remember who showed i it was a while back it was a photographer that i think uh, it was no longer manny bothins wasn't it oh that's that's it yes yes <laughs> does he post it i don't i haven't I don't seen anything so. from him i don't think yeah, so I don't, but i remember wow. you mentioning that and i tried it once and then i put in a video and i said i got told by this guy named visual force who got it from this guy named manny bothins um yeah just comes down the chain <laughs> yeah yeah that's great we all learn from each other so yeah um, for sure yeah and hey oh hey, yeah ben, no, hey, okay. toys are real life hey guys thanks for being here uh, sorry i was just gonna say the guy who did the custom head sculpt is he's right there oh really bb customs one underscore 12 it says in the if you check the caption it's it says right there to the right oh that's so cool thanks for coming in dude that's so awesome your custom is amazing and um oh yeah sweet all right well Any other this this was um uh this was a good choice this shot was a good choice <laughs> so yeah yeah thanks. well thanks thanks for thanks for picking it even though it wasn't part of october <laughs> <laughs> no thanks for for taking it thanks for taking it and making yeah. us having us look at it so we can go like whoa you know because that's like yeah best part about toy photography you can take pictures and then you can also look at others and go whoa you know yeah <laughs> oh i had i see just one other question yeah from artistic yes. toaster again so if the atmosphere aerosol captures the flame what if you don't want the flames just use it right mm. so hmm i mean if you don't want so there's two ways to kind of do it but what ends up happening, and this is actually how I kind of discovered this, is I was just trying to add fog, you know, the atmosphere, while also having like the explosion in the background. And naturally, you know, with an aerosol can, it's flammable, so it's gonna catch the flame, but I didn't really connect the dots when <laughs> I did this the first time, even though I probably should have, and it's dangerous, but I was just trying to get, like I said, the explosion in the background and then some fog around the feet, but then it caught flame. So. Right. If you wanted to do it that way, you certainly could. You just have to move the grappling ball a little further back and then spray the atmosphere more in front. But if you spray them together, this is what you get. <laughs> yeah. Or if you if you wanted to, I mean, this is, I guess, down to just giving it a try. But if you wanted to get the fog and also just get the normal firework without the flame, bef right before it goes off, just go a little ch 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 So then the fog is there while it blows up and it might still be there. Yeah. Um, but also, too, I mean, a lot of the times when you set off the firework, there'll be a lot of smoke, too. Then some of that smoke mm -hmm. from the firework might do that for you as well. So um, right. it's all right. just down to experimenting, just blowing stuff up and seeing what happens when I try this. You know, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Fun and fun and fun and dangerous. But yeah. yeah. Overall fun. <laughs> yes, for sure. Definitely. Um, all right. Great, great questions. Keep throwing them in the... Um, in the keep keep throwing the questions in you guys um we'll be very happy to answer so that was my choice so your next choice was this one right here from press pause photography the shot is, yeah. is like Jeez. cinematic yeah. mm -hmm. it really is all the way from the lighting to i think he used like forced perspective on this so yeah when we get to the behind the scenes, yeah, you can you can see more of what's going on behind. But yeah, I mean, the lighting, the explosion in the background. I just love that there's so many layers to it, which is always super cool with photography and something I, I struggle to do <laughs> a little bit. But 
it's cool that you can have so much going on in one shot, but you can still find a way to obviously focus on one area, but then you start realizing little details in the background, you know, like Ahsoka in the background to the bottom left and then Obi-Wan to the right, but all the way back there. But initially, of course, you're looking at Anakin and Rex, so... The depth yeah. is cool. That's what that's what drew, drew me in. So yeah, and I I didn't even notice. So I I didn't notice the 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 different scale until just now, as I'm looking at. Mm-hmm. It, I'm like, oh wait, those look like black series in the background, and these are hot toys up front. I was like, whoa, that's so awesome. Like that. Yeah. That's not easy yeah. to pull off and make it look really great. And when you look at the mm-hmm. behind the scenes, you're like, oh geez, there is so much to this. This must have taken a long time of just every tiny little thing to get it in yeah so that's Mm -hmm. um, that's huge that's really huge and and silver moon you brought up a really great point he says are all these going to be star wars shots it seems to be a trend (laughs) and that is a very um like valid thing to say and so we we i definitely tried to go out of my way to make sure they weren't star wars because both of us naturally kind of gravitate towards that so don't worry there's not just star wars (laughs) i promise yeah i promise um yeah, so this looks like um, I don't know what, what kind of diorama this is. Maybe this is one of the um, um, extreme sets. That, yeah, that's what it. Sorry, I was reading a comment, but yeah, that's what it. That's what it looks like. It looks like Connor's here in the in the chat as well, which is cool. Oh, so he's awesome! Press pause. Yep. Press pause is right here. Yep. Awesome. Thanks for coming in, my friend. That's so cool. Yeah, and I think he, uh, I'm sure his story is long gone, but he posted a longer behind the scenes video um, showing closer, you know, to Obi-Wan and more of the more gotcha. of the background, which is, which is cool. And he says, yes, it is extreme sets. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, it really gets the job done. Yeah, and that little, whatever you use for that explosion in the background there, or that's on the left, mm-hmm. like you can see it over here. Maybe that's one of those like cotton things with the light that works so well. It's such a, like when you look at the BTS, it's such a small little placement, but it's such a major part of the photo, you know? Right. Um, yeah. So cool. So cool. Very well done. Yeah. And Artistic Toaster, you're, you're giving us some great stuff to bring up. Artistic Toaster says, man, literally uses a lot of his biggest figures for the main focus and scales down with the perspective. I really love how this picture uses perspective and still makes it all look to scale. I agree. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. Um, it is not easy. And, oh, Connor says, uh, that was just some pillow fuzz painted black with a loom cube underneath. Really? <laughs> That's how easy it is. That's how easy it is. So effective, though. So effective. So effective. Incredibly effective. And one thing I also really wanted to mention, too, which um, I don't know if this is on, on purpose, but just I love the, like, mix of blue and orange in, the in like, the background. You got basically orange on over here and blue over here, which um, just looks so good. Those two colors just look so great together. Yeah. Yeah, they really complement each other in the blend. It's It's a... They blend together perfectly from yeah. left to right. It's yeah. Super cool. Yeah. 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 Toy Story says the lighting is incredible. Uh, I agree. Yeah. Just amazing shot uh, overall. And Connor, yeah. thanks for coming into the live chat too and, and joining us for sure. Um, yeah. Just an epic shot. And I'm also, I, I, this Anakin figure I was super curious about. <laughs> and, oh. uh, so it's just, I, I, I did not get him. And uh, I do have the Rex, but. Um, yeah, I, I go, I go back and forth on, on wanting Anakin. I don't, <laughs> I don't really do. Yeah, so with with Hot Toys, I tried just to get figures that come with like a helmet. I try to stick with that. Yeah. Because I hate, I hate. Okay, some people they, you know, they would probably disagree, but paying like three hundred bucks for a figure that just has one emotion, you know, on the, one emotion for the head sculpt, it's. It's tough. Like when you have Black Series, it's like okay, it's a twenty-five dollar figure, and I can I can deal with the one one emotion. But yeah, Hot Toys, it's it's tough unless you got that helmet. Yeah, I know what you mean, and it's weird because uh, a trooper, for instance, the face with well, the helmet will have no emotion, kind of, but that kind of gives you more yeah. room to use it for more than one emotion in photos because mm-hmm. it's yep. limited, but it means it's less limited. You know, like I know right. I know what you yeah. mean. I've talked about this before. Yeah. 
because I mean, a simple like head tilt of a of a helmet can be very. I, I mean, you can just have so many different emotions and expressions just from something like that. Yeah, which is yeah. Yeah, that's a really cool point. That's a really cool point. All right, press pause. Awesome, really awesome. And again, thanks for coming in, in the in the live chat to uh, talk about it. Um, all right, so we're gonna go to one more shot, and then we're gonna grab somebody from the uh, the live chat and pull up one of their shots. So that's gonna be cool. All right, so here we go. This one is mine, technically, and this is from from the outer rim. All the it's way from the game. outer rim, all the way to Mordor. <laughs> it's insane. Uh, yeah, this is so cool. And I'm not like a huge, I like the Lord of the Rings. I'm definitely not a Tolkien buff by any means. I, I like the movies a lot. I watched this show and I thought it was awesome. Um, yeah. But this is just so cool. And I have no idea what figure this is. Like if this is an older figure that came out when the movies came out. Like I have no idea. Um, and but this it's is a good looking it, figure though. It's so cool, and it from the uh, I really hope from the outer rim decides to uh, pop in, or if he's here, he or she is here because I would mm -hmm. really like to get some information. That would be so cool. And if you don't come in, I and know. if you watch later on from the outer rim, please comment because um, oh, Toy Mirth, Toy Mirth knows. He says this is the build a figure with uh, with the new line. Oh, okay. Mm. That's I don't even know who who makes the new line. Um, you know yeah, I, I don't know either. And um, you don't know? Okay. I do remember seeing some smaller figures from a brand I didn't really recognize. I remember seeing like Gimli and Legolas. So maybe it's from that. Um, yeah. Oh, it's from Diamond Select. Oh. All right. Diamond Select. Thanks, guys. Awesome. I love that. Uh, well, good job, Diamond Select. Jeez, because that looks so good. Yeah. Is it a is it a oh di okay diamond select is that's six inch figure that's one twelfth right yeah sometimes a little bit like bigger so but or is uh, it like one one eight one eight or uh, one tenth or something I don't know yeah I'm, I'm not sure either but it's, they're kind of like the size of like a McFarlane a little like a little a little bit bigger yeah a but, little bit bigger um, it works here it works so well and so um, okay so let's just so great crossover first of all. And uh, it's also really cool too because Mordor is and like Mustafar are like super like you know like this especially this shot of Mordor you could say this is Mustafar or you could say this is Mordor and it works yeah and it works um, and the duel of the dark lords he says which is so perfect which is so perfect and I'm seeing back and forth in live chat saying he, this guy would win I think Vader would win but then again I don't know much about <laughs> how. Uh, how uh, how strong or what Sauron's powers are like. I mean, Sauron, not not Sauron. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the the first the first thing I did when I saw this picture was go and look at the comments to see, you know, of course, who who is gonna win in this one, and just to see what people had to say. Let's... It's always it's always funny to to see the interaction of all oh the my fandoms gosh. and people are frustrated with each other and. Yeah, that's 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 a um a good thing if you're ever trying to get get comments on a photo, put something yeah, up that yeah. you know will you think will make people want to say something. For sure. Yeah, for sure. It hooked me. Definitely. Um, and so, yeah, this is so just the crossover alone is enough for you to say, oh, like crap, like this is so cool, and I love the perspective too from uh, from behind Vader with the the saber mm -hmm. coming out. And yeah. also a really just amazing job blending things to make it feel like it's in more uh, in Mordor. So like I'm, I'm not sure if this is a composite or if it's a TV screen or whatever the heck you use to get the background. Yeah. But it blends so well. The lighting blends perfectly. The ground into the like the floor into the whatever the backdrop is works right and yeah, then the we, rock or yeah. yeah the overlay with the sparks and the little bit of of smoke like all in the foreground all really like ah mm -hmm. so, i know it's a great combo and yeah the saber effect is on point and yeah just the the angle is is really good too that can be that can be tricky which you don't really think about yeah. but yep yeah 
tricky one. Yeah, it all blends really well, which is hard. And I don't have a lot of experience with um, with backgrounds like this with using, and so um, screens. Yeah. And every once in a while, I do it and I'll learn something, but like it's hard. It's harder than than you think. Very can be very frustrating. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, it's definitely tough. So yeah, this is just this is just epic. And so I think we all agree that Darth Vader would would win. Yeah. <laughs> oh, We're not biased at all. <laughs> not not at all. And oh, Dad Hobby says, looks like the backdrop is a green screen, which allows uh, it to keep its shine. Yeah, that's that's very, very possible. I would definitely hmm. like to know. I want to know, yeah. Yeah, I, I, know I really sure. want to know. No BTS, which is okay. Which is okay. Yeah. <laughs> keep us guessing. Yes, for sure. All right. Um from the outer rim thanks for giving us this awesome shot this is epic super duper epic so all right all right so now this is what uh this is what we're gonna do to get i want to get somebody for from the live chat we're gonna pull somebody up someone's instagram up so if you so i guess the first kind of thing would be if you are a toy photographer and if you have an Instagram. So those are the two things we have to do because that's what we're, we're using to, to pull it up. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to write down a number between 1 and 10 right here. So I've just written down a number right here. Number between 1 and 10. So the first person to say this number in the live chat will go to your Instagram and will pull up the first the first toy pick on on there well the first four people said seven that's amazing <laughs> okay all right Jeez, a lot of people are going to seven yes yeah, cj cj notorious it was six Sorry. wow nailed it six there it is all right cj <laughs> thanks guys sorry it's so quick it was so quick. It was before I even had a chance to finish. The numbers started coming in. <laughs> That's so awesome. Toy Mirth, they're still coming strong. <laughs> Toy Mirth, I, I see. I see. You said six, but if I'm looking at, at my live chat, you're right underneath uh, CJ for six. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Anthony. But hey, we're still gonna do it again. We're still gonna do it again. So CJ, I'm gonna go over to your Instagram right now, and I'm gonna pick the first. The very first picture on there. Um, Toy Mirth, it, it must be, um, it must be different on on my end as opposed to yours, because <laughs> I scroll right up and he's he's right above you. It must be different. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Um, here we go. Um, 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 um. Here we go, CJ, and and you know what? This is like one of the best what? ones. This is one of the best ones I think uh, you've done. And, and CJ, I've I've noticed your just like your photos have just been getting better and better and better as it's going along. Um, so we've got I don't I have no idea what these figures are. This isn't. Do you know what, anything about these figures, CJ or or? <laughs> Awesome. awesome. Do you know anything <laughs> about which figures these are? No, no, I don't. I recognize the the tree thing in the background because I have one, but is that, that's all I recognize. I, I think I do too. I think this is the one from PetSmart, right? Is this yep. from PetSmart? Yeah, that's I, the one. I also yeah. have it. I also it's have it. It's great. It's a great piece. Yeah. It really is. My cat is on my lap and he's getting upset with me and he just hissed. <laughs> Yes, everyone. So we're not the only one to recognize the, the pet smart. It's a great, great thing to have, and so great. Yeah. The the lighting is awesome. The light having that mm -hmm. blue light from behind, and then I'm not sure if you used atmosphere aerosol or what it is you use, CJ. But that that looks so good. That looks so good. And you see McFarland. Yeah, so this is a McFarland figure. Maybe this is from like Sleepy mm -hmm. Hollow, an old like Sleepy Hollow McFarland figure. I have no idea. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool figure. Yeah, it's really cool. Is this an older one? Like I, I'm so completely, um, I'm so completely, um, like unfamiliar with what. Yeah. 
Oh, an artistic toaster throwing out some super nice stuff. He says, bro, this is absolutely incredible. The tree branches for the diorama and the way the green light is being lit behind the trees. It looks so nice. I love the rays and the figure. The heads. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and Stubbs says, great shot, CJ. Stonevenge says, love the lighting. Um, so awesome. Yeah, this is, this is a great shot. So, CJ... Good job for putting out, like, one of your best shots ever, right, for, for us to pull up on the stream. Yeah, that's really great timing, and Halloween timing, of course, but, yeah, it's, it's a killer shot. And he says that it is from Sleepy Hollow. It is from Sleepy Hollow. Must be an older older shot, cause I, or an older figure. I like that movie, Sleepy Hollow. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? I haven't um, seen that in a long time. Did you know, did you know Ian McDiarmid is in it? Uh, no, the emperor himself is in that movie. I watched it recently. No. I, was like, I was like, "There's, there's Palpatine right there." <laughs> yeah, it always cracks me up just watching a random movie and seeing a Star Wars character. Yeah, you can't, you can't see him in it. You cannot see them in a different way. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, yeah, definitely. And I've, I've, I don't think I've ever seen him in anything else but Star Wars and Sleepy Hollow. Um, no. So. No, I can't think of anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, super great. You guys are being super um, awesome in the live chat, giving all the love to CJ. This is a great shot. So, um, yeah. CJ, well done, my friend. Very well done. Um, all right, so I'm going to switch over, <clears throat> back over to here. And uh, <laughs> Dad Hobby says, only a Sith deals in absolute. No, it's an <laughs> absolutely epic shot, so we must be um, Sith then. <laughs> um, and also, while I'm pulling this up, if you are watching and you're enjoying the stream, if you would drop a quick like on the video, that would be amazing. That helps out like predict like a lot. So that'd be really awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so next is a shot that was picked from, um, and this just kind of happened that I guess all the Star Wars shots are coming first. <laughs> so this shot yeah. is from Kaminoan Customs, right here. Yes, it is. So, oh my gosh! Yeah, tell me why you why you picked this shot. <clears throat> well, okay. So, for those who don't follow, his, his name is actually Kevin. He's a really nice guy. Um, he is obsessed with everything Clone Trooper related, from details of the armor to, I mean, anything from Clone Wars. So, he has a major appreciation for that, and he's very critical of Hasbro, which is warranted sometimes with some of their sculpts but he takes the time to make his own sculpt so here we have the six inch um animated clone trooper kit that he sells and i think a couple other people sell it um you know but yeah just the, the figure itself is amazing so yeah he did all the well he pay i think he pays somebody to do all the modeling for him think or at least the detail of the designs and then he models it not exactly sure but prints it he paints everything up he has some really amazing customs and yeah, he's just he just really good at, at bringing some of these clones to really the next level um yeah hasbro kind of provides a really good base and then he's he steps it up and makes it <laughs> quality you know yeah, this is so cool, and I'm t I, I don't know if this like I'm co completely unfamiliar with what clone this is. If it is actually someone from the series, because I don't remember, or maybe yeah. So yeah, he's from this is this is Colt. He's from uh, Clone Wars. I don't remember him and, at uh, all. Yeah, so he was only in a couple of episodes. It's like the Rancor Battalion. If you don't know, that's fine. So they were in a couple episodes where they were training. Um training some of the newer clones I mean, sweet at camino yeah so they were he and i think there's three other arc troopers are kind of the the trainers for the the incoming clones there's a couple episodes about it which are that that story's pretty good there's three sweet. or four episodes there. i'm in the middle of a, a so. clone wars rewatch right now because it's been so yeah. long so I, now i'm gonna like oh there he is this is great <laughs> yeah Yep, yeah, season three, season three of three. I'm, I'm there. literally but on yeah, season he's... three. <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah, I'm so yeah, right there. don't 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 skip over him. Yeah, there's there's some there's some Heck good yeah. ones there. But so this this kit, um, he, not that the details really matter, but he takes special attention to focus on the arc 
um, kit or I guess the armor from that season because it does slightly change as Clone Wars moves on. Um, so for this this specific armor, this kit and everything, you can make like Echo and Fives and um, yep. some yep. of the newer ones. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm actually in the process of having a couple of these made. I, I uh, I've seen so it. the base. Yeah, the base for this figure in um, Pink Power Ranger, that right? That is a, a Pink Power Ranger. Yeah, there's also a yellow one that you can use, but yeah, I, I found I found a pink one or a few pink ones for a decent price. So yeah, but yeah, you uh, you have to cut them all up with the Dremel and make sure the armor fits and everything, and then it comes time for painting and so on and so forth. So this is there's many levels to this figure, just aside from the actual paint application so oh my gosh from the from the kit to the piecing it together and doing the body it's a it's a project yeah so much and um uh Kamino and customs is here he's right here oh sick uh so yeah. first he says thank you guys so much paul spooner does all my modeling i just send him my sketches designs and schematics wow that's so cool and he says, uh, "Super cool." Yeah, Paul Spooner was also commissioned by Mo Mo Jang to do custom generation modeling early on in Minecraft. He's a legend. Whoa, Whoa. that's huge! All right, that's really pulling awesome. out the big guns there. <laughs> yeah, seriously, Minecraft is literally like the biggest game ever. So that's like, th yeah. yeah, that's a big deal. He is definitely Very a legend. Cool. So cool. Yeah. What a cool connection that is. And one of the things, too, that I really love about these is the so, like, because Hasbro will kind of, you know, any clone, especially even ones from the animated series, they'll turn them into, like, a more live-action version of them as yeah. opposed to using the, the stylization from the animated series, which I kind of like. Right. Which I, I kind of like how they do that. But um, obviously with this custom, and I know a lot of his others, it's not that. This is straight from the, the, the series. Like, this is absolutely that type of stylization. And I love that. That's yeah. so cool. It's, and it makes it so much more unique. And so and it's like, that's so cool. Yeah, and it just gets you closer to the feeling of, you know, having something straight from the screen which yeah the what hasbro does the adaptations that they they decide to do can, adaptation are definitely cool yeah they're they're definitely cool yeah so yeah that's one of the things i i, I love about this and now i'm just like i can't wait till i get back to, to season three or to, to oh, till i get yeah. to this arc in in the show again it's been really great it's to doing this good. to rewatch yeah. i just did a rewatch of rebels which was like oh my god just like and so i'm like now i gotta oh. rewatch clone wars I had yeah, I, uh, I I I rewatched Rebels recently, and I actually got to like the last two or three episodes before somebody I'm not gonna say just in case somebody hasn't watched, but somebody who one of the main characters passes away, <laughs> and I can't bring myself to watch that episode. That's it's tough, dude. That's a that's a that's a powerful moment. It definitely is. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, we won't get into any more of that just in case, but I agree. I agree with that. And I had that reaction on my second time as well. Just as mm -hmm. much as the first one. So, uh, Kamino and Customs, like, you do amazing work. And we haven't really mentioned the just the photos themselves. The the this I mean no. obviously the custom is fantastic, but it's a the yeah. the lighting and the way you shoot it is a perfect way to really mm -hmm. emphasize and just showcase the figure so well. So that's part mm -hmm. that's definitely part of it. You know, you can't you can't yeah. gloss over that. Yeah, lighting is lighting is great yeah you can definitely good detail it you know it really shows off the details of the figure itself and yeah and there's a lot of details to to be seen there yeah absolutely next level next level yeah i agree and kevin owen customs thank you man for for coming on over i appreciate you coming on into the stream hey first yeah. strike thanks for coming in um all right so next one is actually one that I chose, I think. Let me make sure. I have an order for these, but I don't know why I'm trying to stick to this order as if it really makes a difference. Um, all right. Yeah. We'll get to the non-Star Wars ones last, I guess, right? <laughs> it just happened that way. And so this one, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this photo so much more now, even more now than I did the first time I saw it, because I saw Black Adam last night. Oh, <laughs> did and, dang i still uh, haven't seen it 
It just, well, it just came, it came up today is is the day it came out, but you know you can see them on Thursdays. Now. Yeah. But um, this shot is awesome, and the, and the movie's great, by the way. Go see Black Adam for sure. I just took a Black Adam toy photo today, and I can't wait to post it tomorrow. But um, go see this movie. It's 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 not Shakespeare. It's not. <laughs> the action sequences and the visual effects are some of the coolest and just most fun you'll you'll see and it's just it's really cool go see it but um mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway back to this photo so this is this is john's shot um a aesthetic um and uh he does really great work and um i actually met him recently um he like i i owe i owe him because he he's like it's really cool he's like full-time official toy photographer for mcfarland like he works full time oh, for McFarlane, and uh, it's cool. it's so cool. And I'm just it's I think it's just so incredibly inspiring to 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 talk about that because he's just like somebody from the community who just loved toy photos, and he just did it because he loves it. And now he works full time for McFarlane taking pictures. Like how inspiring is that? And yeah, uh, definitely a dream job. Yeah, that's just so cool. And I was talking to him yeah. about it. And he said, like, I'm not allowed to really talk too much about it. That's what he said. But he's like, if you want to talk about it, go for it. So I'm, I'm giving him all the love that. <laughs> that. Um... So anyway, this shot. Um, this shot is so cool. It's something that when you're scrolling, whatever you see, and you're like, this is a, this is a stopper when you're scrolling. Yeah. It's this, this, like, it's for just sure. like right in your face. It's right in your face. And... Um, this is something that uh, something that I struggle with when you have something like like something really up close and there's other subjects behind it, and you're still mm-hmm. he's still got both of them so in focus, and like yeah, uh, I, I, I mean yes you could just crank up the f-stop or your aperture whatever you want to call it to get more in focus, mm-hmm. but sometimes it's not that simple. You know, sometimes not that simple. So yeah, yeah, you lose you lose some of the depth if you if you kind of do that. Yes, but it almost looks like he uh, he stacked the photos a little bit, which yeah, maybe that's what he did. And I have done maybe, yeah. but yeah, because you still get the the really nice blur in the background. Yeah, which is yeah. Um, and the the lightning effects is it's like a in 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 my approach that would be super bold for me because i'm like man i don't know if i want to add that much of an after effect because i'm not super mm-hmm. good at doing that because i don't know if it'll come out but that's so adds to the photo it looks great <laughs> it looks yeah. so good yep mm-hmm. and it's coming from like out of the frame in that's kind of a yeah uh, for for me too i kind of struggle with some of those effects so to see it executed so well it's, it's yeah. really pretty cool yeah, it looks yeah. fantastic. And so he even did a little bit of a... Oh, cool. Yeah, and so there's a really big stand behind the, uh, you know, the, the mm-hmm. thick plastic stand behind the skeleton, which that was probably really tough to, to remove, especially because the skeleton is so thin and he's got all, even his ribs underneath it. Yeah. Um, and so you had to do a lot of little details to get rid of that stand. Um Right, you know, right, right. Look, have it still look really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, and with with that atmosphere aerosol, I don't know if you've experienced this too, but a lot of times it's really hard to remove the stand if you're using any of that. I don't know if he went with one of the shots that had the atmosphere. It doesn't maybe look like it, but it's tricky. It adds another depth yeah. layer that you don't really expect to have to clean up. Yeah, it definitely does. Yeah, when you have moving elements or whatever going on in your photo, it makes it that much harder to get rid of because it's not such a... Oh, yeah clean slate behind it there's all kinds of stuff so yeah Mm -hmm. it's that's tough so this is such a great shot and john is such a great great dude such a such a nice guy um so um yeah if you're watching this go follow go follow all these people that we're showing off for sure for sure and uh i don't know what skeleton this is is this one of the storm collectibles skeletons it looks like it could be does anyone know Anybody? Anybody? Silver Moon. I, I, I definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, I think it might be. I know. I know Storm Collectibles has come out with a few different skeleton figures. Uh, well, mm-hmm. I mean, it's like uh, they've, they've come out with the same one a couple times in different colors. So, um, 
yeah, I'm not sure if that's one of those. If anybody knows in live chat, please let me know. And uh, Lawrence says it's an awesome work. Jeff Howard says awesome. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy says Bueller. Yes, that was... <laughs> sorry about the pause there. Um, Tanner doesn't know either. That's all right. That's all right. And... Uh, oh, First Strike says it's definitely the Storm Collectible Skeleton. Oh, there you go. There all you right. go. Awesome. Thank you, First Strike. You're the man. So At least somebody knows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this is great work. Really awesome shot. Um, and if, if you're interested in seeing Black Adam, go see it. And if you're not interested... Go see it. I bet you you'll have fun. It's yeah. just, it's just good old fun. Um, oh, artistic toaster says this stream inspired me to do toy photography while watching a stream about toy photography. LMAO. That happens. Love it. That that's. I think that's. That happens to me almost every time when I'm watching a stream or if I'm doing one of these because I'm like, oh, this is. You know, it's it's always inspiring. You know, seeing. Um, yeah. I mean that's that's how I got started with toy photography is being inspired by other toy photographers. So exactly, yep. Yeah, we're all we're all big happy family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, uh, a aesthetic, awesome shot, so awesome. Uh, all right, next shot. This one is one that you chose. Actually, this is funny because this is one that uh, we actually both chose like we both had this shot chosen which is really cool because out of all of the photos ever posted in october we both actually ended up choosing the same one so we had to uh um you know figure whatever figure it out so um you you had to give me this one (laughs) yes i let you let this count as one of yours (laughs) so this shot's from jjkw7 so yeah killer yeah, it's a really, really good, really yeah. good shot. The, the depth again. I feel like a lot of the shots, just the depth is so good, and that's what kind of draws your eye. Um, but yeah, Vader, obviously the focal point, but you have so much going on elsewhere that it's good. It's good, and the blaster effects they can be they can be a little bit overwhelming if you do it a little bit too much. I feel like this is perfect, perfect amount. And yeah, you still get to see Vader, and there's the nice explosion in the background that yes just the depth just so much going on but still the focus on Vader is, is there which is really good really yeah cool. absolutely and um lawrence is here this is you right i think so <laughs> yeah he said hello he says hello <laughs> i'm assuming yeah it's the same picture <laughs> yes awesome and yeah the depth is great and there's like you can look all around this photo and you have stuff to look at you can look at the explosion in the background and you can look at each one of the troopers and the um the lighting coming down on the ground too you can see which is really cool and then of course the blaster effects as well um and the it's really hard in my opinion to like vader is hard to shoot even though i really like shooting him he's tough to shoot because he's so dark and his cape is so wide that like sometimes the whole figure can kind of just get consumed in the cape yeah, and it's this, black and it's that just, thing is like a it's like a towel it's huge yes i hate <laughs> so, it I, so big <laughs> anytime i shoot him i'm always just like trying to get it out of the way so i can see the figure and it's really tough to shoot yeah. and so the way you have the lighting on him is really great because You've got, I don't know how, if you held the light, it looks like it's kind of maybe from the top, I don't know, but it's really emphasizing the details in the figure, which is making, so you can see him, because it's hard to see him, because it's all black, so you did a really great job yeah. lighting Vader, so you can see the figure, and he's, he's not lost in the cape, you know, you can see his leg, you know, you can see his torso and stuff like that, so... Um, that's tough. And Jeremy Foster in the live chat says the same thing. He says his cape can be tough, and that thing under the cape. Yeah, that's true. He's got a cape, and then he's got like a a, a butt flap. It's like a, is it like a skirt kind of deal? Yeah, yeah he's got a back skirt. The waist, so right? he's got both of those, which is like, come on. Yes, Jeremy knows. Yes, <laughs> um, he's definitely tough to do. So he did a really great job of getting him to pop. Mm-hmm. Definitely getting him to pop. And artistic toaster this photo reminds me a lot from avengers endgame when they rush towards thanos army yeah that's true i love this so much look at the dead stormtrooper on the ground that's crazy good it's, it's yeah. true yeah yeah it, it gives you the same same hype 
same height for sure yeah definitely yeah that the angle is really cool the angle is yeah. really cool and you can kind of just like imagine and look at like like so the the, the picture ends you know right here as the um uh you know as the photo ends and so you i just imagine as the photo right. goes on there's just like hundreds of other troopers going down it's just the a line. giant battle yeah oh yeah it just makes me yeah. imagine um, right it's you know, it, you know, my imagination just goes wild with the shot mm -hmm. so it's when you it's when you know it's a good photo yeah absolutely it makes me think and the pose too with vader that uh, the pose too the fact that he, he's walking and he's he's probably yeah. He's probably lifting and killing a rebel right now. <laughs> that's that's what, what the whole. That's probably what's at happening. least one. Yeah, at least one. Yeah. And Val Valkatis says we never see enough of Vader fighting with troopers at the same time. That's true. That's true. Usually when I'm doing, it, I have Vader killing troopers, which doesn't really make sense, but for some reason I like doing that. It looks cool. It looks cool. That's that's the reason. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Uh, Lawrence, thanks for being in here. JJ KW, and also JJ KW, he's he's uh, only got, he's at three hundred and thirty three followers, and he's I don't, I don't I don't know if he's a new account or what, but he's putting out great stuff. So if you're not following him, you definitely yeah. gotta follow him. Check him out. Hey, Mr. Poop Farts a lot is here. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Anytime he comes in, I have to I have to mention him. Announce him. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Poop Farts a lot so yeah <laughs> all right oh he said lauren says that he his account is old it's not a new account so hopefully some hmm. more people come on over so um oh michael help hilker says what was the explosion hashtag mentioned earlier it's uh, hashtag explosion ears so like engineers explosion but like ears. explosion ears ears yes explosion ears like if you're you know somebody that explodes things you're an explosion here exactly um toy story says you would think that so many star wars photos it would be boring to see but each shot is always so unique and there are endless possibilities to what sort of scenes you can put together it's great i'm, I'm exactly. glad i'm glad and yeah we did kind of try not to have star wars but there's a lot of star wars so <laughs> it happens it's all right <laughs> um all right, so the next shot is one that I chose, and we're actually we're going through pretty quick here. Um, yeah. Sorry, I have to step away just for one quick sec. Sure, okay. of course. Sorry. Go for it. You're, All right. you're totally one fine. One sec. So the next shot is is from Action Figure Snaps. Adrian's a really great guy, and uh, <laughs> I when I saw this photo I instantly, because I was in the middle of like, okay, I got to pick some photos for this stream. And this one came up. He just posted it two days ago, and I was like, "Oh, I'm doing this one for the stream. This is such a, um, it's it's not only it's it's dynamic, and you look at it, and you're like, whoa, it's just like, it's the it's so vibrant, it's so eye catching, it's absolutely dynamic. There's so much going on, and uh, even down to like the expression on Deadpool's face, like this is just so, so great. And also like I t I had an instant kind of connection with this photo too because there was one time I found these little super soaker mini things that were actually like one six scale and i was like i want to do a shot with this but i never did so uh, now i never have to because adrian put this shot out this is so good so so good and um he's got some bts and you know what i haven't watched it yet so let's take a look got a little spritzy going on and he just spread it sprayed it right that's so that's that's all it is that's so brilliant it's such a slight thing to uh um to think about but yeah just spraying that little bit of water right at the at the super soaker water gun and it, oh the bokeh oh man this shot is so great did you did you not uh, see this one yeah <laughs> no i i missed it i know you sent them to me before but i must have <laughs> missed that one what the heck the pose is wow yeah super dynamic that's, that's super killer dynamic. yeah and um even even down to the 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 stream that stream is totally real mm -hmm. the stream is real yeah and, uh this is just super awesome i've been really loving um action figure snaps work for a while and this might be my favorite shot 
uh, of his. I I would agree. Yeah, with the sun, you can tell the sunlight's coming from the top right, I guess. But right. to get, I mean, the lighting on the the torso of the figure and everything, still, it's it's not blown out by any means, which is yeah, not an easy thing to do. Yep, absolutely. There's a, plus, there's a lot. plus the water effect. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, there's a lot going on here. So he's so first of all, he's got Deadpool in the, in the great pose. So that's first of all. And so being able to suspend him without falling down is hard, especially when you're on like a curb, because then you got to use rocks to weigh it down and all that. And so he did a great job too of like balancing out the light, because the light you got to have that strong light if you want to get this super crisp bokeh water splash you're gonna have to crank that shutter speed super duper yeah. high so uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. which means you need a lot of sunlight yeah <clears throat> yeah and or increase your iso iso but right then you lose some of the definition right. which he, i don't think he did it looks really good <laughs> yes and uh oh um hey piccolo dude pty drone of venom was just on my lap earlier and he got mad because for whatever reason and he hissed and i so i put him down so <laughs> that's where he is sometimes he gets that way he's a good boy but um and uh so yeah also with all of the the lighting he had set up like the loom cubes or whatever lighting he's got um it was a really great way to balance out the light because sometimes when you're cranking that shutter speed so high you get all the light where the light is hitting, but where the shadows are, the shadows get really strong. And uh, they right. get really dark. So all of the other light that he added <clears throat> that he added in was great. It worked perfectly. Yeah. And uh, especially on Deadpool's face. Deadpool's face, you can still like so clearly see it, and it's bright, and mm -hmm. his expression is, uh, with the eyes closed a little bit, it's just, it's really yeah. great. Still, it still draws you right to it, even though there's so much yep else to look at really yep artistic toaster yes i think this is the figure arts one i have the deadpool figure arts and i think this is it, it looks it looks like it is uh for sure <clears throat> um <laughs> and tong war says inspired by your shots jared i don't know about that um <laughs> but i mean it's definitely the kind of shot that i like for sure because that's i i always gravitate towards this type of flashy action like oh that's awesome uh, that's why I liked yeah. watching Black Adam so much last night because there was a lot of that going on. <laughs> it's all action, yeah. A lot of action. So, yeah, this is just such a cool, cool shot. And now that I'm looking at it too, like, I really like the square. Like, this is like a one-one aspect ratio, which a lot of times I'm like, ah, oh, mm -hmm. square, but but it's perfect for this. If it was wider or longer, I would I would probably not compliment it as much as this crop did for yeah it. might might actually might actually distract a little bit but yeah you don't really see much of this the square yeah. anymore but when you do yeah yeah that was a that was a good a good choice for sure <clears throat> yeah so super awesome shot my friend and the this the squirt gun actually i, I would i do want to touch on the squirt gun i don't know i was guessing maybe this is one of the mini brands toys but this might be mm. bigger it might be bigger than that. It it looks it looks bigger, but I don't know. Yeah, because the mini brands, what there's not there's not really really a scale to them, is there? No, sometimes they're like you get Reese's ones that are this big, and then you've got a, something that's <laughs> smaller than a Reese's. Yeah, it's just like yeah, um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this is so I'm I'm definitely curious as to as to what squirt gun it is because I was talking about ones that I found in the past, and one time I found these squirt guns that actually work. Um, but they were like one six scale and they fit with my hot toy, but, um, hmm. it's definitely not the same size. So Adrian, if you, if you watch this, please let, let me know what, I would love to know what, what the, uh, the squirt gun is. Maybe yeah, it's those, um, squirt gun? what's the brand that does the world's smallest, um, super impulse. I think it is. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Maybe that's, um, maybe that's what it is. Maybe. I'm waiting to see if somebody pulls through in the chat, but <laughs> so far, no. <laughs> <laughs> and Toy Mirth brings up a really great point. He says, uh, that's a tough shot to pull off because the figs move with every click from the water. It's true. So, yeah, every time you spray it and then you hit 
the figure, he's gonna go, he's gonna wobble a little bit because of the impact of the water. That's a really great point. And uh, that does make things really difficult, especially if you want to like, kind of compile stuff from other photos and like, because that's what I usually do. And that, yeah. that um, yeah, that does mess with stuff for sure. So that's a good point, Tormerth. Yeah. Really great point. <clears throat> um, all right. So that was actually number nine. That was number nine. So. Uh, oh man, we rolled through that real yeah, quick. Yeah, we really did. Oh yeah, do you have a question? This isn't a question-based uh, stream, but you have a question. Yeah. Okay, uh, is it for well, Austin? I have one, yeah. Okay, uh, uh, Austin. Harlan yes. has a question for you. All right. So I don't know what the question is. So just be ready. You never know. <laughs> some... <laughs> I'm ready for whatever. Okay, so the, whenever I have somebody on these live streams, Harleen has a question that she asks. So this is the, the segment of, what's the segment called? Questions with Harleen. Questions with Harleen. So here we go. <laughs> here what we are you going to be for Halloween? And if you were going to be oh, something man. for Halloween and had to change your idea last minute, what were you originally going to be and what did you change it to? Oh, man. I don't have a good answer. I'm not... So I'm not home for Halloween, so I don't have, I'm not dressing up as anything. <laughs> but you should what, still at least wear a onesie. Last year, I was Kylo Ren and my wife was um, Ray, but I can't, can't think of anything that I would be this year. We're being, uh, he's being a cowboy Mando and I'm in the process of making uh, my own baby Yoda right now, so. <laughs> so who are you going to be then? <laughs> I'm Are I'm I'm gonna be? be Grogu, but I I made like an oversized top and and pants that are not close to being done yet. <laughs> yeah, you make all of your own stuff too, right? I do most of it. I yeah. make all of it. Super cool. From scratch. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> you should you should at least wear onesie on Halloween though, and and eat some uh, pint sized candy bars to celebrate the season. <laughs> pint sized pint candy size. bars. Hey, thank you. <laughs> do those exist? <laughs> So was the because I didn't hear any of that. So was the final He's not verdict be that? Home for Halloween, so I told him right. To wear a onesie. I was just thinking that because you're in I know, South I don't Carolina have... at the moment. But he should at least she wear does. A... She does We're have the best really questions. <laughs> I asked if I could get a preview of the Halloween costume that she's making, but she didn't. She didn't give me an answer. Oh well, I don't think it's. Um, I don't know if it's at the point where the preview is ready. I know the ears. The the, oh. the ears are a project all over the floor upstairs that she's she working on. At the oh, moment. But, I know. Uh, I know how that goes. But I know how that goes. once it's done, it will definitely we'll, we'll take pictures for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm, I'm being. Uh, I I was the same thing last year. I made a cowboy Mandalorian costume. So I'm just gonna wear that again. It's really I don't. Cool. I don't remember. Oh, it's not very original. Come on, you gotta change. It up. <laughs> I know. It's just like <laughs> I put so much time into it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it again. You know, maybe do I'll again. do it again next year. <laughs> yeah, that, it makes it easier. That's for sure. Yes. Yes. Great. Great question, babe. And um, Stubbs in the live chat actually said she has the best questions. LMAO. That's good because every time she goes and asks a question, I'm like, oh, jeez. What's she, gonna, <laughs> what's she gonna ask this? The time? wild card. You have no <laughs> idea. Um, all right. So the last um, shot that we're gonna bring up is going to be from the live chat. So uh, don't start putting anything in the live chat yet because I have to write it down first. Um, so, all right. I'll tell you when to start. Okay. Start throwing in the numbers. If you missed it. Uh, I'm going to a, a number between one and ten. I wrote it down. So comment in the live chat any number between one and ten, and if you oh wow, jeez, jeez. Chega, you were first, the first one, and you got my thing. And Toy Mirth, you got it right too. But you were, I'm sorry. Oh. You know what? To, just for that, Toy Mirth, we're gonna bring up a number eleven shot just for you, afterwards, just because. You were like right there. So a after we go through Chegas, we'll, we'll bring up yours, Toy Mirth. <laughs> and you always have awesome stuff too. So Chega, right off the bat, I had two. Number two. He was he nailed right, it. So. so Chega, I'm not aware of what your Instagram hand. Oh, you already said it. K C N Obito. K C N Obito. There he is. Oh, cool. Darth Maul. Um, profile picture oh dude i okay 
I know your stuff, and it's amazing. Okay, so wow, I'm really um. So, okay, so here he is, and yeah, you oh, do some really. Oh. And I actually was looking at this uh this Darth Maul shot just the other day. Um, this is like something else. Like I don't even know how you did any of this. I have no idea. Like the you must be using some kind of crazy epic lens that just look how look how big his hand looks like holy crap and i know That's this crazy. is crazy this is definitely a toy like you can tell this is a toy like it looks like the figure arts one um oh my god and that's so crazy i was just look like when you posted this i was looking at this and just thinking to myself like wow it's funny because i was just looking at, <laughs> at this account today as well it popped up and i was like dang i really wish i had maybe picked one of these photos <laughs> but i yeah, no, it's crazy good. I was looking at the, um, well, I looked at all of them, or a bunch of them, but, yeah. Yeah. Timing of it's funny. So it looks like it, the original shot is very wide. It's a very wide shot, but that's way too wide for Instagram to handle. Um, mm -hmm. And <laughs> Artistic Toaster says, Ayo, do we get a movie poster creator here? Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Chega says, the hand is actually mined. There are raw shots in the last slide. Okay, you know what? I saw that, and I, so this is the, this is the hand. So the hand is your hand, with, <laughs> with, and so you kind of you edited edited it to make it fit perfectly. But even the the sleeve is that's definitely not your hand. The sleeve is the figure, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> Linda says lens, baby. What's the lens? Yeah, I would definitely like to know what that is. Maybe it's like a probe, one of those long probe lenses or something. Please do let us know, Chega. I, I just want to see like the I want to see the editing process but yeah. yeah I would love to see that too yeah the thing with the it's brilliant that he used his actual hand the, the the figure the figure hands don't always look super accurate and when it's like the forefront of the image yeah it's got to have good details and otherwise kind of looks funny but yeah, it looks really good there. If you had used like the actual the figure hand, you wouldn't be able to get the space between the fingers because in there you get the space no. between the figures the fingers. So that was nice because you can yeah. see the lightsaber from underneath the fingers. Right. Um, right. Uh, oh, uh, Dung Chow Dung Chow for you says everyone is so amazing. I'm new to toy photography and I have a lot to learn. Super inspired by Sir Dork's positive welcoming attitude. Thank you. Oh, dude, that's awesome! And so I'm so glad you're you're here and you're you're taking toy photos, and I'm glad that you know seeing some of these photos like this, which is crazy good. It's like sometimes I'll look at a photo that's like really good. I'm like, like I'm almost discouraged by it, but I'm glad it's because <laughs> I'm like, geez, I'm never gonna do something like that. But I'm glad it's no. inspiring you. I'm glad it's inspiring you. Um, whoa, Chega says it's a normal 50 millimeter or something. It was just a lot of editing, actually. Wow, that this was just yeah. from a, that's a, it's crazy that you were able to get that close to it and get that it's type ridiculous. of ridiculous macro feeling. And Toymer says, yeah. "I agree. I would love to see how the editing is done." Me too. Um, Chega, next time you post something, do it like a. I mean, I'm not gonna tell, I'm not telling you what to do, but <laughs> it would be so cool if. Um, if you did like a time lapse or something, and I know how that's a lot of work, you know, to do behind the scenes, especially with this um, in depth of a production process. Yeah. And so you know, yeah. it adds to the work of behind the scenes. But I would love to see that uh, definitely. For yeah, sure. I'd be a I'd be a real treat. Yeah, because that's oh, wow. Yeah. Um, really, I'm really glad. <laughs> you, I mean, thank you for, for everyone who put in the numbers and. Um, seriously you guys are amazing but i'm just think i'm just thinking like jesus these are i'm really happy to get this insight from you so i'm glad that you put your number in chega um yeah do you mind do you mind going to the just the next shot the uh definitely yeah, yeah. i know I, this is the one that i i was looking at yes yeah, this, this is incredible so so awesome and even down to the uh the weathering on on grievous and the light the yeah. green lighting on him the lighting uh, oh, so yeah very good fantastic. yeah i probably stared at that picture for about five minutes today just fantastic. looking at yeah i would love to know insane 
Chega, what, I'm, I'm so curious as to what your background is. Like, you, like, I mean, you very well just could be, like, you know, self-taught. You like using Photoshop or whatever you use. But I'm just curious to know if you have any type of background in photo production, image, graphic animation, design. Animation, anything, animation. yeah. I'm just really curious. I mean, um, you very well might not have that. Not saying anyone needs to have that type of background to do this. I'm just, I'm just really curious. Um yeah really amazing work so uh yeah. looking forward to seeing some more stuff from from you my friend uh for sure so i did promise because uh toy mirth was like so close to second and even like on some live streams it was showing up first or live chats showing up first than the last yeah. time so um all right toy mirth here we go Pulling them up right now, and Toyworth it does a lot oh. of amazing work, and so I'm. I, I said I'd go to the first shot. Um, so this is the headless horseman. This is this one took a few tries. Was doing my best trying to mimic the awesome lighting from One Six Shooter. Uh, of course, uh, has on his shots. Eventually, I gave up and settled on the first shot. Um, yeah, you know, I was looking at this earlier today, and he's got a bunch of different like background and lighting options really mm -hmm. um this new figure is so cool pretty neat How what's the choose? what's the background yeah I, yeah that's that's the issue yeah toy but, yeah what's the background oh he said his bts is on his story right now so i've never looked at a story on, on. my computer here we go let's see there's new the new post, post. This is a great shot too from First Strike Figs. Here's the BTS. All right. Oh, so oh, oh nice. So all of that practical is in camera. So he's got a. Um... Okay, great. It's gonna loop. No, it's not looping. Dang it. Oh. <laughs> so. So it looks like he had a couple of lights there, and then is that like a reflector, or is yep. it just for something to bounce yeah. it off a little bit? And the moon mm -hmm. is real, and so he's got the trees as a, uh, it's a, it looks like a TV, digital background. Yeah, this is super impressive. Yeah. I'm sure uh, Four Horsemen saw this shot, and they were like, no, it is. this is what we want. This is awesome. I'm sure they saw yeah. it. I'm sure they saw it. So I I get Toy Mirth why you were trying to figure out which was, I think... Honestly, I think the one you chose for the first one, I think that's my favorite. I, I agree. I would agree with that one. Uh, I don't know. I like this one, too. I like the blues in that one better, the one back there, but more of the background. Well, and you can see the moon just a little bit better, but when you have all the effects coming together, it just kind of adds to the overall you know, the figure and everything, too. Just pulls it all together. Oh, That's tough, though. He said it's a sticker. So he used a bounce card. The backdrop is a piece of wood, actually. Whoa. Huh. It's a sticker. How did he... How did you make it glow? Yeah. Super curious for that, also. Yeah, this is just super... Toy Mirth does all... Like, like he gets into, like, explosive stuff using fire, diorama stuff. He gets into mm -hmm. just about everything just about everything and I, yeah um i think the reason why i like the first one i just i like the lighting on uh the figure the best in the right. first one i really because the right. contrast i think might be it's I feel like it's the strongest with the orange and the blues in the background i really like that a lot yeah there's also like kind of a vignette effect from the is it smoke or fog whatever is coming in from all the corners and it's kind of drawing you right to the center yeah which you don't really get with that the that last shot the the one that's next because you don't have as much of the, the smoke yeah so. yeah that's true so good and uh Toymerth says sorry it's from amazon it's like a latex background that he stuck on a wooden board i see hmm. so it's not a tv in the background so it's like a it's like a sticky like thingy that he put on a piece of wood in the background and so the moon is not the sticker 
Is it? Mm. I don't even. It's just. Like, <laughs> it's so hard to see. But, <laughs> but yeah. Honestly, it doesn't even matter. It's just. Uh, yeah, because look at the photo. <laughs> yeah. So good. So great. Um. Oh, the moon is a night light. Okay, so one of those little round oh. light up moons. Okay, you know what? I have I have one of those. Um, okay. And I've tried to use that it. That makes more sense. And I've never been able to. But um, yeah, great work, Anthony. It's really, really awesome. And just like overall, just always. And he puts out like new stuff like every day. Like, I feel like every day he's pumping out stuff. Um, yeah, it's not an easy thing to do, especially quality. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking at the the Death Watch Mando shot on his page. I don't remember if it, how many days ago it was. Or also a really cool shot. Yeah, a really good shot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, this there's there's so much going. Like the background is so just full of I just know. like stuff to look at. Like with the broken, the broken like I don't know. Yeah, the, the diorama. Ground. It's pretty pretty cool. Is there a behind the scenes? Oh yeah, here there's, we go. Yeah, the dioramas. Awesome. Oh yeah, that is amazing. And there's that same uh, sticker background in the. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty effective. Yeah, great, so good, yeah. Anthony. Yeah. Um, all right, so I guess that's our top eleven. It kind of turned into like eleven or twelve ish. So. <laughs> yeah. Plus um, or minus, yeah. Yeah, around there. <laughs> So uh, this is something I would really like to do, like maybe every month, because uh, we, we only grab stuff from October. Um, but every so often I'll be like, yeah, I'd like to do this every month. And then sometimes I'll, I won't do it. Uh, luckily, at least I've been consistent with the, the, the challenge stuff. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Austin, thanks for coming on. This was, this was so much fun. This is so much yeah fun. it was a ton of fun yeah it's great to talk with you and just great to get your opinion on some of this stuff and um it's cool to see this stuff you chose for your favorites for the month um yeah so yeah if you're not following austin at visual force you should be for sure anything else you want to you want to say or plug or while while we got you not no not really <laughs> not really yeah thanks for having me on no it's a good it's a good segment yeah um interested to watch other people that you pull on here and awesome get their opinions and it's it's cool to see pe people live and have them talk about photos and everything you really get an idea of their appreciation for things so i it's, agree it's good good segment for sure cool i'm so i'm glad you think so and it doesn't um yeah. sometimes I'll, I'll be like trying to figure out fun things to do for streams but then like i'll put so much work into one and then i'm like there's no way i could do this every week that took me like all week to get this yeah. so this doesn't take a whole lot of prep which is great you know i can just kind no. of whip this up um so awesome and so if you if you haven't yet um next week from today on week from today on next friday is when the the challenge stream is everybody so if you want to get your shots in get them in before before friday all the information is on my instagram right now um so i'm so glad you guys enjoyed it thank you for for coming in here we had a lot of people we had like 60 plus uh, at one point so that's really amazing and i really appreciate you guys appreciate you austin coming on um it's that's um uh, that's about it that's about it so uh i'll see you guys on next friday i am gonna put out an actual youtube video on sunday like usual so stay tuned for that and um yeah all right Everyone have a great night and um, see you on Friday.